For many of your applications, the process will begin and end with forecasts, but that might not be the case for all of your programs. Hello everyone and welcome to Happy Farm Life. My name is Sierra Richard. I'm a pharmacist and a PGY1 resident who is wanting to help you get the residency of your dreams and in turn that career you've always been looking for. Before we jump in, I do want to do a little disclaimer here that the advice I'm sharing in this video is based on my own personal experience, which may be different from yours. So when you look at this advice that I'm giving you, think about it from your perspective and take the pieces that you need and leave those that you don't. Okay, with that in mind, here we go. Many programs are now requiring additional applications outside of forecasts. If you've watched any of my other residency videos at this point, if you haven't, you can check them out up here. But if you have, you probably know what I'm about to say, which is you need to check your program requirements and do so early because these can pop up and you do not want to miss them. These additional applications can also include a piece for your references. If that's the case, you definitely don't want to wait until the week before your applications do to ask your references to do something additional on top of the tons of work that goes into it for forecast alone. You also want to locate this application early just so you can see what the requirements are. Some of them require essays or additional documentation be attached in legal forms. If those are the cases, then you need to know ahead of time in case there's documents that you need to acquire. So I've done some asking around because I wanted to make sure I gave you the most accurate information. And what I found is a lot of these supplemental applications are really for HR. They are to designate that human resource requirement by the organization that they have an application from you. It's also a way for them to acquire any legal documents they need for taxation purposes. Um, if you are from out of the country, making sure that that is in there. Those are kind of the pieces that they're really looking for. So not always is this something that's going to your program and even that they're going to see before they interview you. However, sometimes it is and it's just as important. You don't know which way it's going to go. So you need to treat it like you would your forecast application and that is just as important as that. There may be repeated information like I had to upload my CV again and my letter of intent and all of that is great and fine. Do exactly what is asked of you. There's a lot of things that might be pulled from your application that might be beneficial. For example, I did a personality test and I was asked about it during an interview. So whatever you're doing, make sure you really pay attention and can answer those questions that they may ask you at your interview. Additionally, I had some essay questions about why I wanted to work at a specific place. And those are also good opportunities to think about what you're going to say when you actually interview if you're lucky enough to get one. If you weren't asked to do this up front, don't think that you're out of the woods yet. You may be required to do it after you've been invited to an interview. So definitely make sure that you double check those emails you get once you've been given an interview and fill out that promptly. Let me know down in the comments below if you've had to do one of these and what all was included. Thank you all for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. I'm going to be doing tons more residency videos. You can also check out some of my other residency prep videos in the description below. If you do have any questions at all, please leave them in that comments below. I'm going to be checking these up until I know the deadlines go until like January 6th-ish plus. So I'm going to be checking those messages every single day and responding to you to make sure that you are 100% prepared to hit that submit button. Good luck with your residency applications and I will see you next time. Bye!